Have you ever wondered what the future holds for the British monarchy, and more importantly, what role Prince William plays in shaping it? In the grandeur of Buckingham and Kensington palaces, an intriguing narrative unfolds. Prince William, our protagonist, finds himself wrestling with a delicate balance. On one hand, the weighty expectations of royal responsibilities, and on the other, the pursuit of personal privacy and familial obligations. This is no ordinary tale. It's a story of a prince caught between the steadfast traditions of monarchy and the shifting sands of modernity. As we delve into the House of Windsor, we witness a generational shift, a subtle change in the winds of royal duty. It's a fascinating spectacle, offering a glimpse into the complexities of royal life, the relentless demands of birthright, and the evolving nature of public service. Caught in a web of royal responsibility and personal privacy, Prince William stands at the intersection of tradition and change. As King Charles III's health becomes a concern, the spotlight inevitably turns to Prince William. The future king, it seems, is poised at an interesting juncture, one where tradition and modernity intersect. The generational shift within the House of Windsor is evident in the stark difference in the approach to royal duties between father and son. Charles, the embodiment of tireless dedication to public service, presents a stark contrast to William. The Prince's focus has been on high-impact social issues, an admirable endeavor, no doubt. Yet this marks a departure from the traditional role of the monarchy, one that was steeped in routine engagements and ceremonial duties. The modern face of the monarchy is also evident in the anticipated appointment of a chief executive to oversee the operations of Kensington Palace. This is a strikingly modern approach to royal affairs, more akin to corporate governance than aristocratic stewardship. It's a clear sign of the times, a testament to the ongoing evolution within the royal household. However, this innovative move does not come without its share of questions. The most pressing of these pertains to the balance between royal responsibilities and personal privacy. With a more controlled private public image, will the monarchy be able to maintain its connection with the public? William's approach raises questions about the balance between royal responsibilities and the desire for a more private, controlled public image. The saga of the monarchy continues, and we can only wait, watch, and wonder what the future holds. The recent handling of the Duchess of Cambridge's health issues underscores a broader debate on privacy, transparency, and the public's right to know. This incident brought to light the stark contrast in how health issues of senior royals are communicated to the public. In times past, the health of the monarch and their family was considered a matter of national importance. Today, however, we see a different approach, one that aligns more closely with the modern understanding of privacy rights. Prince William, in particular, cherishes his family's privacy. While he understands his royal obligations, he also values the sanctity of his personal life. This balancing act between public service and private life is a tightrope walked by many in the public eye, but it is especially precarious for those in line for the throne. So, as we watch this royal saga unfold, we find ourselves asking, how much does the public have a right to know about the private lives of their royals? As we ponder the future of this centuries-old institution, we can't help but wonder, will Prince William find a balance between his future role and his personal convictions? The monarchy, like the world it serves, is in a state of flux. The Crown of England, once a symbol of absolute power and divine right, now grapples with the shifting sands of modernity. Prince William, standing at the intersection of tradition and innovation, has a unique challenge before him. The question that looms large is whether he will redefine what it means to be a king in the modern age. Will he transform the monarchy into an institution that marries the demands of public service with the need for personal privacy? Or will he chart a course that remains true to the traditional role of the monarch, even as the world around him changes at a dizzying pace? The uncertainty surrounding the future of the monarchy is both intriguing and unsettling. The monarchy's relevance and its role in a democratic society are points of contention, yet the fascination with the royal family endures. The spotlight now turns to William. His actions, his choices, and his vision for the monarchy will shape not just his reign, but the institution itself. Only time will tell if Prince William will rise to the occasion or redefine what it means to be a king in the modern age, but one thing is certain, the journey promises to be nothing short of fascinating.